So. Hi everyone. We decided to do a slightly different format for this frequently asked question video. We just released a podcast on arthritis and we started talking about the squat. Uh, so we decided that we would show you a couple of the progressions that we use when we have individuals coming into the clinic with some sort of knee or hip pain and strengthening is part of their management plan. And so if I'm gonna teach the squat first, it looks like this, a body weight squat. But a lot of people who come into our clinic aren't able to do that right away. And so we will teach the squat from a height. So we have these boxes that have different heights based on the side they're on. So if I flip, there's something obviously in there. Here, it's at a 32 inch height. If I bring it down, it's 24 and it goes progressively lower to 20 inches. So we're gonna start just from here. And if you're doing the squat, you're gonna keep your feet just outside of your hips. Have your toes slightly pointed out for each person, depending on their anatomy and their injury history, the position of the toes will be slightly different. But the important part is to make sure that your kneecap stays over your toes. So you don't want this to happen when you're squatting. So just outside of hips, you're gonna get your butt to travel right back. My knees are staying over my toes and I stand back up. What you also want to avoid is this. This isn't a relaxed position on the box. You want to control on the way down and control on the way up. So we'll do other videos where we talk about how we can have more weight and challenge, but here is like squat teaching 101.